Welcome back, friends of physiology, science, nutrition, strength training, and all the other crap I post up in these YouTube videos. Today, we're talking about how you tr store and transport your different macronutrients. This is really, honestly, a condensed primer, if you will, for a lot of the other videos I have where we I explain to you performance, biochemistry, physiology, and nutrition. Okay, but this is an important starter kit, if you will, or a reminder, if you want to do it that way. Now, I've given you the first one which is carbohydrate. And so most of you recognize that the place that we, or the way that we transport, if you will, carbohydrates is in the form of blood glucose or blood sugar. Okay, so if you see, if you get a blood draw and you wanna measure how many carbohydrates you're transporting around your body, you're gonna measure glucose. And the reason we do that is because we wanna get glucose from one body part to another body part so that we can use it, we gotta transport it somehow and that's gonna be in the form of our blood. So to back up a little bit there, where do we actually store it? Where do we get it from? Well, it could be from the food you just ate right there, but realistically, most of it's gonna be coming from your liver and muscle in the form of glycogen. Okay, now that's a polysaccharide. You can check out the other videos for that. All right, so we store our carbohydrates in the form of not fat. That's right, friends. It's, we don't store carbohydrates as fat. We store carbohydrates as carbohydrates in the form of glycogen. It's kind of like a starch in a human. And we put that in our liver and our muscle with the vast majority of that being in your muscle. That's because when we go to exercise, one of the primary fuel sources for exercise is carbohydrate. So if I wanna use my biceps, which thank you very much, they have been getting bigger lately, thank you quarantine. Uh, I'm gonna use the carbohydrate, the glucose that is in that bicep, that exercising muscle itself. If I need to get more of it because it starts running out, I gotta get it from the liver or another muscle. I'm gonna break it down release it as glucose through the blood and transport it to wherever I need it. Our next category over here being fat. Uh, and to back up a little bit, yes, if you do overconsume carbohydrate, a small percentage of it can be stored as fat, but we're talking like one to 5%. It's very, very minimal, depending on what's going on. So we store our fat as adipose tissue typically, or a couple other spots, but we know that, and it's in the form of a triglyceride, TG, okay? Now, if we go to use that fat for fuel, which we can, we would break it down just like we break down glycogen in the blood, and we move that as a free fatty acid. You take three fatty acids together, combine them with the glycerol backbone, you have yourself a triglyceride. And so that system works very uh, concisely, just like the carbohydrate thing does. Stored form of glycogen, transport, cut it into six carbon molecule, call it glucose, here, cut it into our three fatty acid chains, move them around. If we don't use that, that gets then restored back up there, et cetera, just like you would do that here, okay? Now, our last one is protein. And most of you know the building blocks of proteins are amino acids, right? And so if you are to uh, transport uh, protein throughout your body, again, you're not have a big chunk of protein that much floating through your blood, it's mostly gonna be in the form of the individual amino acids that you get it. If you go to store that then, that's just going to simply be stored as a, as a protein, right? And then you can, of course, break the protein back down, transport it as amino acids. Now, we don't do a very good job as humans as storing our amino acids. Okay, we can store a little bit in muscle, but for the most part, it's transient. You leak it out. And that's one of the other reasons why, unlike fat or carbohydrate, if you wanna say maximize muscle growth, you probably need to get the pro protein in pretty frequently because you don't do a great job of storing it, right? These can be stored for a long period of time. Okay, hopefully that helped. Uh, hopefully you're enjoying all these five minute fizzes. Be sure to check out 25, 55 minute versions. At this point, I got a, probably several hundred hours of videos up. Um, enjoy.